Marseille midfielder Morgan Sanson looks like he may be heading to the Premier League and Aston Villa. Here's what to expect. Having broken through as Le Mans were relegated from Ligue 2 in 2013, Sanson joined Ligue 1 Montpellier for around half a million euros that summer, immediately slotting into a midfield of a side who narrowly avoided relegation the following season. Becoming increasingly key for Montpellier, an impressive start to the 16-17 season, adding 10 goal contributions in 20 league and games, convinced Marseille to spend 9.5 million euros on Sanson in January 2017. Sanson is a technically creative passing midfielder who affects the game in a variety of attacking areas, dropping deep to pick up possession and progress play with his passing, or by picking balls and firing off shots around the area if an opposition defence sits deep. As a result, Sanson has been used in a variety of roles, although he is usually deployed as a central attacking midfielder, either as the most forward thinking of a midfield three or as a number 10, although he can and has been used a little deeper alongside a holding player or out wide. Despite some impressive looking numbers in Ligue 1 overall, Sanson's best season statistically was that 16-17 campaign when he moved from Montpellier to Marseille and led the league in, an assi in assists in a year that Monaco won the league scoring almost three goals a game. Nevertheless, since then, Sanson does compare well to Ligue 1 players playing in similar positions in terms of assists, although some on this list have played notably fewer games, Savonia for example. However, a comparison with the much more sought-after Hossam Awa of Lyon in that time underlines Sanson's usefulness and under-the-radar ability to affect games. He has been key for Marseille in that time, placing a strong third behind the prolific Florian Tuvan and Dimitri Payet in goal contributions. Although he has been fairly quiet this season, the truncated 1920 season was one of his best as André Villas-Boas, his more functional side, relied upon Sanson and midfield partner Valentin Brongier to organise and create in midfield in a fairly standard 4-3-3 formation. Often looking a little slight before then, Sanson noticeably improved physically that season as well. Sanson is also a goal threat, either with his precise shooting from around the D, arriving late from midfield to sweep home, or with some neat volleying skills. He is far from prolific, but he does have a tendency to contribute important goals for Marseille at key times. Should he make the move to England in the physical, more pacey Premier League, I'd worry about Sanson's ability to assert himself deeper in midfield, especially as part of a two-man setup. Should he join Aston Villa, for example, instead Sanson would be far more suited to an attacking midfield role in English conditions, likely benefiting from a little more space and the faster transitions. Either as number 10, with Jack Grealish moving back to the left, or moving to the left himself in place of Anwar El Ghazi, perhaps. As far back as summer 2018, France Football reported Spurs and Mauricio Pochettino were keen on Sanson, his agent also adding Arsenal to the mix around that time. Sky reported the following summer that West Ham, Newcastle and Wolves were all keen with 35 million euros the asking price, before Crystal Palace had a bid rejected according to L'Equipe. Local paper La Provence reported Southampton, Everton and Villa were ultra interested last winter. But a year later, it seems Villa are the most likely club to sign Sanson. In truth, Marseille have been looking to sell players to the Premier League for some time to aid financial issues, which have only been worsened by COVID-19 and the TV rights debacle in France. However, it seems the asking price has dropped, with figures between 18 and 25 million euros now being mentioned. Sanson has long quietly been Marseille's most consistent and gifted central midfielder, but he isn't the sort of player that will dictate and dominate games, even in Ligue 1, and I don't see him taking the Premier League by storm, as it were. But he has the quality and intelligence to be a very useful, consistent and low-key creative influence on Dean Smith's midfield. A slight lack of physicality may be an issue in England, but he would also benefit from more space, something rarely enjoyed by Marseille teams in Ligue 1 of late. Given the price, this still certainly represents value for money. It'll be interesting to see how he adapts should Morgan Sanson make the move to Birmingham in 2021.